If you want to get your company to the top of Google searches, then trust Hot Click Marketing. I trust them, and they're sponsoring me for the entire season. Well, a very happy new year, and welcome to the first vlog of 2020. And just behind me is Mary Dees, which is one of the, uh, the local hostelries, shall we say, that City fans hang out in. Today, I'm going to ask lots of City fans what their wish is for the new year for 2020. Uh, I'm going to start in there actually, see what they're thinking ahead of this game against Everton. I hope that we win a lot of games and that we come back with some silverware. Yeah. Um, I'd like to see us get a little bit of backup in defence, but um, apart from that, I think we're doing really well and I think that our fans get behind the team as well. That'd be really good. Well, first of all, I'd like to see him win the Champions League, so uh, that would be my wish. And. Uh, I'd like to see Phil Foden start a few more games and uh, play the full 90 minutes, really, because I think he's a real asset and will be a great player for City in the future. Are you feeling lots of optimism for this year? Um, generally, yeah. I mean, we've overcome this uh, purple patch that we had over well, the last couple of months, really. And I, I think uh, that's been exacerbated by the injuries, of course, but you know, now the players are coming back to fitness, hopefully, then things will start looking up. I think Kevin De Bruyne is essential for the side. I think everything ticks around him at the moment. I think if we lost Kevin De Bruyne along with the other players, I think we collapse. I think City can win the Champions League. I think there's no pressure on to win the Premier League. I think that's done and dusted, as we all know. And uh, I think get Laporte back, possibly by another centre-half in the uh, January transfer window, but I don't think he will. But I do think we're going to win the Champions League. Kevin De Bruyne is going to shine. Well, I hope we continue to play beautiful football. Uh, I think that's what I've uh, appreciated the most over the last 10 years. I mean, we've won a lot of cups and competitions and that's been absolutely brilliant but I think what I remember most is uh, the beautiful flowing attacking football uh, especially under Pep Guardiola I mean Mancini it changed everything had a bit of a, a dip when Pellegrini came in but um, you know since uh, since Pep's been here it's been last season and the season before just outstanding so if we can have some more of that um, I'm absolutely delighted um, I love, I love seeing that style of play, especially when we score goals and when we win games. And if we win trophies, that's a bonus. But I'm not that fussed about winning trophies at the end of the day. Most, for me, it's mostly about the flowing, attacking, beautiful football. So that's what I hope we see more of. I think mainly for me, I'd love to be able to compete more in Europe, get, a bit, get past the semi-final. If we win it, that'd just be absolutely perfect. I could ask for nothing more. I think obviously the league hasn't gone as well this season, but if we can continue fighting in the domestic cups and Europe, that'd be absolutely perfect for me. I'd be extremely happy with that. I would imagine uh, more minutes for Paul Borden. I think we need some drive, we need some legs in midfield, uh, and Phil provides that in bucket loads, and he just needs more minutes. There's other uh, young players throughout Europe that have shown that if you give them the time, they'll produce. And I think he just needs more time on the pitch. The league's gone. Use the minutes. You know they've given minutes to Eric Garcia, and he's he's played all, all all right. So I think the same with Phil. Needs more minutes on the pitch. I hope Pep sees sense, and uh, he usually does, and uh, gives him some more time. So that's all. Yeah, more time for Phil. I suppose really I should add in my own wishes for 2020. I've got to say the last decade, particularly, has been unbelievable as a City fan. The things we've seen, the Aguero goal, and. Uh, FA Cups and League Cups and the, the four titles, can you believe that, in, in a decade? And the quality of football watching at the moment is unparalleled. Uh, Pep Guardiola, in my eyes, is the best coach I've ever seen uh, at any club, really. Um, and that includes some great coaches here at City. Obviously, there have been three Premier League winners, uh, as well as Pep, there's been uh, Manuel Pellegrini and Roberto Mancini. Before that, I saw the tail end of the Joe Mercer era with Malcolm Allison. Um, Joe Royal, Kevin Kingham is so many great teams set up by those great managers. I don't wish just for success or for trophies, I, I wish for great football. This fantastic club that I've supported all my life, which has just got an absolute soul. I love the fact that it's got a real soul. 
uh, I just want it to continue on like that. I don't want it to forget its roots and, uh, and I want the football just to continue on. Is that a lot to ask for? That's my wish for 2020. I'll get some more views from here now. Uh, Champions League, Premier League, FA Cup, Carabao Cup again. You're not greedy then? No, nah, that's not much to ask for, I don't think. <laughs> 2019 was great, the whole decade was great. Do you believe City can replicate this? It's going to be tough, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to look like the Premier League. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to work it out um, how far Liverpool are ahead at the minute. But I always look and I always say to you about the quality we've got in the squad, you know, and if we can keep our players fit, you know, Champions League, Madrid will be tough, but get Laporte back, get Sani back, get everybody up and running, we, we're as good as anybody. I'd like to, uh, I'd like to uh, win the Champions League and get the hat-trick on the uh, Caballero Cup and win the FA Cup. Not a lot, man. You know, and uh, it's doable, it's doable. You know, we can't win the Prem every year. You know, other teams have to, uh, have, to uh, have a chance because we've not given anyone a chance these last... Uh, you won it four, four times in seven years. You know, and, and, and you know, it's, that's unbelievable. I remember, you know, I've been a City fan, you know, and down in the third divisions and all that, and you have to remember that, because you can get carried away with this, the winning the winning mentality that we've got. What Pe Pep's brought. I like Mancini, I like Pellegrini, and then Pep took it to another level. You know, absolutely fantastic. It's a dream, isn't it, what's happening at this club? It's a dream. My hopes for 2020 is that people embrace our new fans supporting food banks initiative at the grounds. We're going to be here for weekend home games uh, every week, hopefully expand into weeknight games later. But for now, we've had a fantastic start and it all goes to Manchester Central Food Bank. Uh, and yeah, from day one, we've got all of this already. And hopefully with your help, it'll get better over the coming weeks. It's not bad at all, is it? <laughs> it's all right, yeah. It's going to be a big year, I think. We've got to do something, so here we are. and I think we, uh, we dominated the ball. I don't like dominating possession, but we're negative in possession, which is too deep. I'd like to see us get more, bit, a bit more possession further forward and get the ball forward quickly. I mean, Hastings have made some great runs uh, down either side of the channels of the fullbacks. I'd like to see him get more service there and also a bit more penetration down the flanks because we saw the ball played in where we got the goal from uh, Phil Foden, which is disallowed, of course. But the fact that it was an early cross, ball forward quickly, early cross, and that's the end product. Feel confident we'll win? I think we're going to have to be patient, but I think the first goal is going to be crucial. We've been treated here a lot of good football, a lot of goals, but for me, we're not going to get that 45 minutes back. We weren't good enough, bit pedestrian in the final third. Um, I thought Everton were so deep, they had, they had no passion to get forward. Um, but us personally, they've got to move the ball quicker, movement off the ball in behind. Uh, VAR's killing it. You know, the goal, the, 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 the penalty decision, the offside, it's an absolute joke. We need a screen so everyone knows what's going on. Because all the paying fans are just there, left in bewilderment. But I expect to see players off the bench, a little bit more cutting edge going forward and we should be able to get this one over the line. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought um, we played well. Mendy was back to form. I thought some of the crosses from Man Mendy was brilliant. 2-0, it's one of those scores, we give away a goal but we've dominated the game. So I was pleased with the performance, I thought they played well, passed it around well, many changes, short turnaround, so I don't think you can be disappointed with it. Great result. At the end though, at 2-1, it's always going to be a bit iffy, but uh, Jesus scoring again, lots of positives. Garcia, Garcia looks like he's been in that team season so yeah good good way to start the new year isn't it so looking forward to it all the best happy new year to every city fan that supported uh, the vlog and the podcast um over the last 12 months uh, and, and even further back than that what a great way to start 2020 uh three points in the bike against a good side in everton good manager ancelotti as well so it might have been a, a tricky game this one the performance the discipline the way the players went out there and, and, and wore the shirt with pride today was fantastic. And Eric Garcia, I said it the other day in on the pod, that guy is going to be superb. And what a performance today. Man of the match for me, Jesus. Great two goals. Not my man of the match, though. Eric Garcia, 100%. Company S tackling as well. Brilliant to see. Best thing we've ever seen them playing. 
You yeah. pleased with that? I'm spot on. Spot on. Best I've ever played. Yeah. And I've had a 200 mile room trip to see as well. Okay. Glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, spot on. Good performance from a few changes that we had today. I was quite impressed with Cancelo at the back. I thought he played very well. And the, the back was quite good. Fernandinho was absolutely magnificent. He kept them in the game all the time. In the last 10 minutes, I was getting a bit worried, you know, of giving that goal away. But apart from that, he was really good. Fairly impressed. Perfect start to a new year, eh? eh? Yeah, exactly, Ian. Yeah, really good. Hopefully, we can just carry on now and hopefully win a cup or maybe two cups. I'd be happy with that one. Well, I thought we played OK. But I, th I think, like, you know, we were just saying there, there's certain players making, like, mistakes. Like, the passing's a bit off. Defensively, like, I don't think we look particularly solid. But overall, I'd have took the 2-1 at the start. I mean, Everton have been traditionally a bit of a bogey team for City, haven't they? Yeah, they have, to be honest. I mean, like, you know, when we were conceding, like, corners and free kicks, you're thinking Mina's going to come up and, like, get something, like, you know, because we're not a big side. But, yeah, you know, they have. So, I'm, I'm happy with a win. So, you're walking away into the new year with a spring in your step? Not quite. <laughs> You've got to be happy with oh, that. Yeah, yeah, they am, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and we'll be here again on... Uh, on Saturday, like, you know, and hopefully like we get an half decent result against Park Vale, or I'm giving up. A good hard fought, hard fought performance thought first half. The defensive shape worked, but it cost us a little bit um, attacking wise. Thought we were even though with the, the wing backs we were a bit narrow. Felt that we didn't give the width further up the pitch. But I thought Mendy in particular going forward, that was the Mendy that we thought we'd bought, and he looked a, a real player today. Garcia composed performance you can see the potential in him uh, Fernandinho marshalling in the defence give him a 12 month contract please you know let's keep him on board his experience would be vital but I thought overall it was a really good solid performance good way to start the new year and hopefully we can kick on yeah it's a great game today um, we enjoyed it it's a uh, bad first half though very quiet a few empty spaces but um, yeah we, should, we deserved the win didn't we we did yeah, yeah. very good we enjoyed ourselves yeah, we did yeah anybody yeah. stood out for you today yeah, uh, Foden. Foden, Foden, definitely yeah. Foden, definitely little Foden. Picking on him. <laughs> and, and Jesus as well. Jesus, yeah. Two cracking goals and he nearly got a foot, well, yeah. he could have had four really yeah. today, couldn't he? Hit the post, didn't he? A couple of times, yeah. Yeah, but we're not happy with VAR, are we? VAR's We're crap. not happy with VAR. <laughs> In one way. They shouldn't be allowed, it shouldn't be allowed. It spoils the game for That's, anyone, isn't it? Yeah. Well, those yeah. people who say it means the, the game is more accurate now, do you not, yeah. do you not have some sympathy for that view? No, because they can, they can ch check every decision now, yeah. can't they? And every offline, every F this, yeah. this, that and the other. You just think it's spoiling the game? It does, yeah. Definitely, yeah. You think you get the goal and then you don't, and you're like, oh, yeah. that's not very fair. It's made our Christmas, isn't it? It did, yeah. Two wins we've seen, we're happy. Yeah. All right, yeah. nice yeah. to meet you. It was quite a first half, but then the second half, I thought City did really well. Did really, really well. Got the two-goal lead and looked very, very comfortable. And again, unfortunately, it's a mistake that sort of encourages the other team, but... Overall, given the form that we've been in over the past few weeks, I think it's a step in the right direction because Everton were a dangerous side. We've just come off a strong away win against Newcastle. So, yeah, I think I think overall it's positive. Always great to watch this as a team, isn't it? <laughs> Do you know what? I've not done it enough. I mean, to be in the stadium, it was uh, it took me back, but I think we were playing a different style of football when I was there. It's just it's good to see. I think we're very lucky to see some of those players and some of those guys are essentially backups as well. Like, say, Gabriel Jesus, for example, he's an elite, elite striker and someone... You know, he's filling in for Sergio, who is even better than that, so it's, it's a pleasure to be there. Are there any of these players that are at club that you still know? Oh, it's getting a bit, it's getting a bit tougher now. Um, I think on the starting 11, I don't believe... David, well, no, David Silva came on, that's it. So anyone who, who came around that time, sort of nine, eight, nine years ago, yes. But the other people, no. But in some ways, it makes it better for me because now I'm just a fan as opposed to someone who has a vested interest in someone else. And you've always been a fan of him. Well, I would say my very first team was, and that was from nine years of age, because I joined the academy when I was 10, but at that point I'd already become blue. So yeah, looking, even walking around with the ball boys and stuff, I remember doing that myself. And this um, is it's, it's, it's basically been my life. What a great start to 2020 with a win against Everton, one of the tougher teams, I think, in the Premier League, particularly now they've got Carlo Ancelotti in charge. Shame for Phil Foden that his goal was disallowed. Two great goals from Gabriel Jesus, could have had three, maybe four. 
great performance by him. I'm very impressed by Eric Garcia, so calm and in control at the back. What a star he is going to be. Uh, as ever, thanks very much for watching, and isn't it great being a blue? Win, draw, or lose, but today with a win, it's great being a blue. See you next time. A big thank you to the RRG Group for their sponsorship of the match day vlog throughout the season. So if you're looking for a new car or a used car and you want to deal with somebody you can trust, then I can certainly recommend the RRG Group. Thanks very much, guys. Thanks for your support.